Here in the i button and in the description box below, you'll get complete playlist of Laplace transform. Okay. So in this video, I welcome you to video number 18. And in this video, we are going to see properties of inverse Laplace transform. Before starting this topic, that is properties of inverse Laplace transform. Uh, <clears throat> first, we discuss properties of Laplace transform. Okay. Then we will compare this property of Laplace transform with the properties of inverse Laplace transform. And by this, you will easily memorize okay so first property is shifting property that is if laplace transform f of t equals to f bar of s then laplace transform e to the power at into f of t equals to f bar of s minus a okay second property that is division property if laplace transform f of t equals to f bar of s then laplace transform f of t upon t that is division property equals to integration s to infinity f bar of s ds okay Third property that is transform of integral property that is if Laplace transform of f of t equals to f bar of s then Laplace transform of integration 0 to t f of t dt equals to 1 upon s times f of f bar of s. Fourth property that is multiplication property if Laplace transform of f of t equals to f bar of s then Laplace transform of t to the power n into f of t that is equals to minus 1 power n and the third derivative of this f bar of s with respect to s and we are not discussing this fifth part that is laplace transform derivative because when necessary we will discuss this part okay if necessary then only we are going to uh, see this part okay now coming to yes the most important part of this video that is laplace transform uh, properties of inverse laplace transform if inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s equals to f of t then first property that is inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s minus a f bar of s minus a equals to f e, e to the power at into f of t okay this is what this is my shifting property this is my shifting property okay if you see in the case of Laplace transform that is Laplace transform e to the power 18 to f of t equals to f bar of s minus a. In the case of inverse Laplace transform, we have inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s minus a equals to e to the power 18 into f of t. Fine. Now coming to second property that is integral property. Okay, you here you can see integration sign we have used. So it is integral property. Int integral property. Okay, so inverse Laplace transform of integration of s to infinity s to infinity f bar of s ds equals to 1 upon t times f of t. Here you can see this is f of t upon t. It means division property, division, okay. Division property in the case of Laplace transform becomes integral property in the case of inverse Laplace transform, okay. If you see division property here, okay, that is Laplace transform 1 upon t into f of t equals to integration s to infinity f of f bar of s ds it means yes division property in the case of laplace transform okay division property in the case of laplace transform becomes integral property in the case of inverse laplace transform fine yes by this way you can easily memorize okay all the properties now coming to third part that is inverse laplace transform of f bar of s upon s okay f bar of s f bar of s upon s it means we are going to use division property here okay or division rule division property okay so inverse laplace transform of f bar of s upon s equals to integration 0 to t f of t dt okay it means integral pro transform of integral property in the case of laplace transform becomes what division property in the case of inverse laplace transform okay if you see yes transform of integral property that is Laplace transform of 0 to t f of t dt equals to 1 upon s f bar of s here inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s upon s equals to 0 to t integration 0 to t f of t dt again I am repeating yes that is integral uh, transform of integral property in the case of Laplace transform becomes yes that is a division uh, property in the case of inverse Laplace transform now come to the last part that is the inverse Laplace transform of d upon ds of f bar of s that is equals to minus t f of t. Yes. So here d upon ds means this is derivative property. 
derivative property which means yes and here you can see t into f of t t into f of t means here we are it means uh, the multiplication property multiplication property in the case of laplace transform becomes derivative property in the case of inverse laplace transform so let us see that yes that is multiplication property if laplace transform f of t equals to f bar of s then laplace transform t to the power n into f of t equals to minus 1 power n and the derivative of f bar of s with respect to s put n equals to 1 so t into f of t equals to minus 1 or you can say minus of first derivative of f bar of s with respect to s okay so here inverse laplace transform of first derivative of this f bar of s with respect to s becomes minus of t into f of t again i am repeating this once again that is multiplication property in the case of laplace transform multiplication property in the case of laplace transform becomes yes derivative property in the case of inverse laplace transform okay thank you so much for watching this video in the upcoming videos from video number 19 on onwards we will get uh, problems on very good problems on inverse laplace transform okay thank you so much for watching this video